being the history buff that I am and like as much as I nerd out about like country music and horror movies and stuff, I'm equally as interested in like folklore and religion and all of that stuff. There's a grain of truth in all of that. Yeah. You know, it's like, for example, the story of the Banshee, the screaming lady in Ireland that like foretells death. Mm -hmm. It's probably a barn owl. Yeah. Because, you know, they do that sometimes. And someone, it just happened to occur right before someone died, you know? Yeah. And so someone was like, oh, well, that's the lady coming to tell you you're dying. Yeah. This was also the same time that they were burning people for being witches, too, you know? I mean, yeah. Exactly. And I ended up doing my uh, senior capstone paper in college over the Salem Witch Trials. And so I have, like, a crap load of books, like, dense history monographs about the Salem witch trials and as interested as I am in all of that and like folk magic from New England and all this stuff it's like let's let's be honest with ourselves like it was probably these kids going to their dad's slave woman because she was from a foreign country and saying Hey, can you do that little fortune telling thing? We want to know what our husband's going to do for a living. Yeah. You know, and one of them didn't like what they heard. And I was like, well, let's just see what we can do with this. And then from there, it escalated out of hand, you know. Whoa. That's heartbreaking, too, man. Yeah. I mean, a lot of innocent people lost their lives over some very stupid, very stupid accusations and just weird yeah. people. Wasn't there a thing? Uh, I'm I'm thinking that this is right. I'm very tired, and I'm also stupid. It's not a good combo. <laughs> but uh, there was like, wasn't there like molded bread at the time that would um, cause hallucination? Yeah, and psychedelic yeah. effects that kind of uh, amped up the whole yeah. trial. It's process. called um ergotism, ergot. Ergot. It's a ergot. Yeah. it's a mold that gets on the rye. Yeah, and it causes very intense hallucinations so basically from everything that i've read and i am by no means an historian i have no credibility to like give my thoughts on this or whatever but here's my thoughts on this is like all that stuff started out as um samuel parish he was like the basically the town leader and he owned a slave woman named Tichaba. She was from uh, Barbados, I think. I think. Um, his daughter, niece, and a friend would go to her, and she would show them, like, the fortune-telling stuff. There was a big thing that you could crack an egg into a glass of water, and depending on how the egg settled in the glass you could read your future yeah and so the big thing then people wanted to know especially young girls like if they were going to get married who they were going to marry what kind of job their husband was going to have you know to find out if they were going to be successful you know and so paris went out one night and so the girls went to tichaba and probably said hey let's do the fortune telling thing you know because Tichaba was the one who primarily took care of them. Mm -hmm. They did it. They went back home. Samuel Paris or his wife come back, probably saw that and was like, well, there's, there's devilry afoot. And, you know, probably condemned Tichaba as a witch. And to avoid blame, these girls probably faked having or got poisoning because it said that they would sit on the bed and they would shake you know ergotism gives you violent hallucinations but also violent shaking and tremors in your body yeah so they could have just been faking it and claim that the devil was upon them and well, goody osborne she did it it's her exactly so now you've got titchba and goody osborne sitting in jail 
And then Goody Osborne wanted to blame whoever. I can't remember the other woman's name. There was three of them that got sent at the same time. <clears throat> and then from there, it just kind of got out of hand because people would, if a woman was sent to jail and if she died in jail, basically whatever it was that she owned, people could just, someone could come in and just take it. So people coveted land back then. So if one of these women died in prison, they would basically relieve their land properties. Oh. Mm. See, I mean, what's more likely, somebody actually being a witch or just some butthole wanting to blame it on somebody to get yeah. land? Exactly. But here's the thing about it, too, is like everyone was doing folk magic back then. The fortune-telling stuff, Yeah, like everyone was doing that. The clergymen back then were doing that. But it was okay for them because they were clergy. Mm. You know, they wanted to know, are my crops going to grow? What do I need to do at this time to make my <clears throat> harvest bountiful and all this stuff? Well, they were all hypocrites. Was it like, was it a gypsy thing? I no, it was, just, it was just regular practices that they brought over from England yeah. that continued on. Everyone was doing it. But if she has some land that would be good for harvest. Yeah. She's looking like a witch, you know? Huh. Man, it's just, it, it breaks my heart to go back and read some of the history of that because for the people that don't know out there, uh, <clears throat> wasn't it that they were tied to a chair? Some, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. Uh, sometimes they'd be tied to a chair, thrown out into the water, and if they drowned, then they weren't a witch. But if yeah, they, they put it up to the top, then they were away. They, they, they were guilty. Them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's I mean, we used to be such barbaric people yeah. back in the days. I mean, we still are to an extent, but it was way yeah. worse back in the day. Oh, yeah. Um, most of the people who were witches, most of them ended up dying in jail. They would just rot in jail. Yeah. Because they wouldn't let let's say one thing for the prison system, at least you get food nowadays. Yeah. yeah. They probably like just terrified to be around uh, those people, yeah. like, like the prison guards or whatever they were called back then. If I was a prison guard and somebody said that that's a witch, I go to get, I go get close to her. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw her on me. or something, but that's yeah. about as good as it's going to get. 